everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra, if you have not been here before. And today I want to show you how I have changed my journaling. Um, so if you've watched any of my journal videos, you know that I am a huge Peter Pepper Press journal fan. Um, I have a couple of videos. I'll link a playlist for you guys if you want to see what kind of journals I have. Um, I have a whole, a whole video actually, or two videos dedicated just to Peter Popper press journals because I collect them. The paper quality is great, although um, I prefer different types of paper in my journals. I'm kind of weird in that regard. I like paper to feel written on, so I like thinner paper. Um, I like using blue ballpoint ink. Sometimes I'll use my colored gel inks, it depends. Um, but currently I am using this tiny Peter Popper press journal. This is an artisan journal and um, Basically what I do is I open it up every single morning and I write a page. Um, I used to write more pages and when I was younger, I would write like lots and lots and lots and talk about all my boyfriends and my feelings and things that would go on. Um, but nowadays I find that I only have time for one page. I've just been so incredibly busy and um, I feel like I'm missing out in some regard. Like I feel like I wish that I could get more artistic with my journal. I wish I could use more stickers and, um, so anyway, so it, that's an evolving process. Like I'll, I will write more when I need to. Um, so, and if I have time, it really comes down to the time aspect of things. But anyway, so this is still ongoing. I still write. Um, I have been writing in a journal ever since I was eight or nine, whenever I could like write really, really well. And I've got a whole Rubbermaid full, like one of the huge, huge Rubbermaid containers full of journals from when I was nine years old. And I've written in a journal almost every day of my life. So I've got a lot of journals. Um, and I don't, when people say journal, um, people nowadays mean lots of different things. So they talk about planning. Um, they don't say planning anymore. They call it journaling. Um, and that kind of came from bullet journaling. Um, but when I say journal, I'm talking about writing down my thoughts, my feelings. Generally how it's become is in the morning, I will write down uh, my plans for the day, uh, my feelings and thoughts and, and stuff that happened previous day if I never got to it. But previous night um, and I'll talk about like what what's going to happen how I'm feeling um, you know thoughts about like if I'm angry about something um, I'll write that in here and then generally if I get time in the evening it's kind of like a recap on my day and how things went um, but like I said that hasn't been happening because I just haven't had the time so anyway that all goes in these types of journals however you guys I wanted to do an unboxing with you before I actually opened it and I couldn't wait. So I went ahead and I did something. <laughs> Remember when I said I was interested in getting a, ho a Hobonichi? Well, that has, has happened. So this here, you're looking at my newest planner cover, but it's not going to be a planner cover. I'm using it as a journaling cover. So this is a Franklin Covey Vintage Aurora for um, like a, a coiled book or a bound book. So it is not a ring binder. And I just, I opened it yesterday and I love it. I smell it and I love it because <laughs> it is real leather. Um, they are highly sought after like the ring binders. Anyway, you cannot find them anymore online. I purchased mine. was it two years ago now, last year or two years ago. I can't remember. Um, but I have the this is the purple plumeria and then there was also a vintage um another vintage aurora and that was the blue mirage so i have those binders i've actually got them in compact and classic because i am in love um, the vintage auroras are amazing but i wanted to see if it would fit my hobonichi and it does i'm so excited so this is the outside the only difference it is still the same size as a classic ring bound binder, um, but the footprint is smaller. And that is because it's skinnier. It does not have to hold rings, right? It's just a holding a notebook. So it's really, really skinny and um, it still has the same closure and it still has a pocket on the back. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. I haven't like decorated my, my book yet, so... We're still in the in the process of doing that everything inside is exactly the same as the original binder so you've got your clear pocket you've got your card slots you've got some secretarial pockets um, a slip pocket a zipper i'm planning on keeping stickers in here and then you pull out your notebook 
Then it's got a pocket back here to hold your book and then some more pockets here for more stickers or whatever you need. Um, so my Hobonichi, um, my back cover is bent because when I first got it, I tried doing, um, you can actually, if you don't care about the back cover, you can put the front cover on this side and the back cover on this side and then close it. And that works too, but your back cover will get bent because you kind of have to squish it in there. So what I'm going to do going forward is just keep the back cover in. Um, I did order a clear cover for this, so the cover will be protected. And then I'm going to slip in a decorative sheet in the front. I have some things printed out from planning. Is it plan with K? I know there's planning with K and then there's plan with K. Let me see. So these, I printed them on my own vellum. Planning with Kay. Um, and I don't know where she's based out of, but uh, she had these from her Etsy shop and I just printed them. I, I downloaded them and I printed them. Um, and they're really cute little um, kind of like quotes and stuff. But anyway, so I'm going to stick this in here and then when I get everything fully decked out, I will come back to this and show you guys. But what I've done is I've taped some of these vellums into my planner, which is what people do. So this one says journaling is like whispering to oneself and listening at the same time. And I basically just scotch taped it into the front cover. So you, can, you can't even tell. And this one goes good right here because it's about journaling and it's on the front page. So it kind of, the color is perfect for that. Okay, the next one, it's a powerful mindset. Then there's the cover of the Hobonichi. You've got your month or your your months of the year. And then it goes into the yearly. And I haven't decided what I'm going to use this for yet. Um, but I did get the spring one. So this one started in April because, of course, it's April. I think I got it on the 7th of April and I didn't start using it right away. Um, well, obviously not until the 7th is when I got it. So I'm going to use this for kind of like... Um, gratitude slash affirmation slash memory keeping so if I have little pictures I'll put them in here and just kind of write down what I've done my biggest accomplishment I used to do this thing called um daily success instead of like gratitude or accomplishments so if there's something big that happened like if there was a birthday party that day or um if I had a big accomplishment or something really good happened so kind of keeping it on the the you know affirmation or the positive side so like showing what you're grateful for. Um, I think that's a really good um, idea. So I'm going to use stickers on this page. I've got lots of these from the Coffee Monsters Co. and from Once More With Love and just like little icons just to kind of decorate it and make it cute. Okay, so that's the monthly pages. And then if you go to the weekly pages, I'm kind of back planning. So I don't really use a weekly, but what I'm going to do is every single time something happened in the day just so I can kind of go back and track what I've done I'm going to show like I haven't actually done yesterday's yet even if I don't always use stickers I'll just write what had happened that day and then I can kind of come back to this and be like oh yeah this is the day we did that so it's kind of like a back plotting thing for me and then for the daily pages um, you can scoot over here. This is the beginning of the days. So this is the cover page for April. Um, I, it says a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Also planning with K. And like I said, I got the journal on the 7th, so I didn't start. I missed the first few days of April. But this is the first journaling page that I had. I can't remember where I got these stickers from, but it was from somewhere in Sweden, I believe, or Germany. Maybe they're from Germany. Um, and then I'm using some Simply Gilded washi tape. Um, so my goal at first was to use different colored pens. I've got a million pens. You guys have seen pictures. Um, and so this is using a fine liner, I believe, a, um, a Stabilo fine liner, 0.88. This one as well. So this was... And so now what I've done, this is still all the 7th, this is the 8th, the 9th, and the 10th, but I wanted the spread to look similar, so I just kind of decorated the whole thing um, as one spread, and then this was yesterday. So now the difference, and here I'm using Platters Anonymous Mermaid Shores, <laughs> so clear stickers work really, really well in this planner. Um, these are my own, so these are translucent um, they're on translucent matte paper and or maybe are they shiny? 
Oh no, these ones are shiny, but I do have matte paper as well, like clear matte. Um, and so they work the best. And I do have some orders coming that are basically journaling stickers. So they've got like ripped, the ripped paper look and a lot of florals. I noticed that companies that do those like journaling stickers, they use a lot of florals, which is interesting to me. Um, but anyway, I've got some of those coming. So when they come, I'll share that with you guys and show you how I use it in my journal. Um, and then this is today, so I'll journal that. So like I was saying, I do have um, a lot of fine liners. But I also, the only fountain pen I currently have is this one right here. This is a Twisby and um, this is a medium nib. I have tested this in here and it's fine. It shadows a little bit, but it does not bleed through. Again, this is uh, Tom, Tomo River paper. So it's really, really thin um, and it's like man-made paper. It, it's interesting. Like uh, they were talking about that rock paper, right? It's made from, is it sulfite? I think it's made out of. Or maybe that was Stology paper. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, it's interesting because it's so thin. And I was reading up on it and it said where it originated from was Japanese Bibles. And that's this is the paper they used in Bibles in Japan. So um, I wanted to get more fountain pens. And I still might. I haven't quite decided. Um, I have one on the way and it's going to be filled with pink ink. But I figured I had purchased this a long time ago and I was like trying to figure out a, a, a use for it. And it's basically my glass pen. And this is only like $20, believe it or not. So this is what it looks like. Um, I'm sure you've seen this before. Um, and actually this is written with my glass pen. So it kind of gives the look of um, like a quill, which basically it's very similar to a quill, but you don't waste ink. So say for instance, you have a fountain pen Every time you have to fill it with a cartridge or you fill it with your converter, right, to pull up the ink into the pen. And while that's great if you use the pen all the time, if you do not use it, it dries up and then you have to like clean it out and fill it again, which is such a pain. So I thought, what a perfect idea to use my glass pen instead. And that way I'm not buying anything else, which, you know, I don't need more stuff. Um, and there's actually, which is actually interesting, this is something I might do as well. There is, I saw it on Amazon, it's literally a quill, but with a fountain pen tip. So um, kind of similar to what they have in the, the old days. <laughs> exactly like this type of tip, but with um, like a feather on the end, like a quill, but a metal tip. And then you just dip your tip into the ink and then write with that. And I think it lasts like 30 words or so. So it's very similar to this. And this one's kind of cool because the ink basically stays on these little ridges. And then as you write, it kind of goes down. It's really, really cool. Um, and so I've used it a few times, but I'm planning on using it again. The ink I have in here, it's actually sparkly ink, but it's hard to tell. Um, it doesn't even look like there's any sparkle to it anymore, but it's supposed to be sparkly ink that came with it. And then you have this little glass thing to like lay your pen on if you want to set it down. So I'm going to use this because I do actually have some inks coming from Ferris Wheel Press as well. Um, I won't put this in here. I was thinking of putting my glass pen in here, but I'm afraid it's going to break. <laughs> so anyway, so this is my, my routine. So I'm going to start... Um, I'm going to join the club, the Hobonichi club. So this is a Hobonichi Techno Cousin and Cousin just means it's an A5 size. So yeah, so I just wanted to, to share that with you guys. But yeah, I'm, I'm so excited about this and, and I'll kind of show the process as I go. And maybe we'll do a flip for the month just to show you all the spreads that I do because I, I've noticed how people do that and I think it's super, super cool. Uh, especially when you do art journaling or you have stickers or you use different color inks or pens. It's super nice. And then I'll have this decked out too once my stickers come. Um, I'll probably put some deco out here in the front and then use the pockets for stickers. So yeah, so next time I share this with you guys, um, you'll see all the changes I've made. And then I'm also going to do like a planner journaling lineup video and just kind of share with you guys everything that I'm using and like do a quick walkthrough of everything. So that'll be another video that you guys can look forward to. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Click on the bell button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye friends.